Hi, I'm Katherine Gordon here at Gordon Studio with another talk about permanent transformation. Not too long ago, one of my students in class said to me, why don't you, why don't you actually do lectures on tra transformation? Go talk about it. And I think what it was is I'm spending so much time monologuing and lecturing in class, I really do need to find a new forum in order to get some of these things off of my chest. And it's not about just getting things off of my chest. It really is about sharing the things that I've learned over the last eight years about transformation so that you can go out and do the same thing too. So today's little lecture is about pain and training and why I have learned that it's not necessary and why I believe it's counterproductive. I like to say it's kind of like romance training. Uh, if it hurts, you're not doing it right. For too long, there's been this admonition about no pain and no gain and, and go for the burn and these kinds, of, these kinds of sayings. And if you understand the burn, which I do now, it's lactic acid and it is helpful because it helps you to produce human growth hormone. If you understand why you're going for the burn and if you keep the burn in the right place. For example, it's fine to have the heat of lactic acid in the muscles, but you don't want pain in the joints. If you understand how to use it and how to apply it to your training, it can help you instead of hurting you. But I want to talk specifically about pain today. And if I could share a story with you. A few years ago, I was out rollerblading and I fell and I bruised my tailbone. Really, really, really bad pain that lasted for a long time. But at that time, I was still on my transformation journey. And I was actually at around probably about, you know, 25% body fat and I was trying to get down to 22 or something like that. And in order to do that, I was like, my goodness, I have to keep training. What am I going to do? But I am in so much pain. So I decided to keep training, but I did an experiment. I said, what if I go into the gym and I continue to train and I continue to lift, but I do it in such a way that there isn't any pain involved? Well, because of this bruised tailbone, it meant that I could basically lift like nothing in terms of weights. There were a number of exercises I was doing. I was doing T-bends. I was doing step-ups. Um, I was doing um, all kinds of different exercises, um, even dips and these kinds of things. And what I discovered is a lot of these exercises, in order to be able to perform them, I literally had to use no weight at all. One of the few exercises that I could do without any pain in my tailbone was a dumbbell squat or a barbell squat. But even those, I was only using maybe, you know, maybe 20 or 30 pounds total. And if any of you out there do weight training or resistance training, you, you understand how light that is. So over the course of this transformation, I was actually doing a lot of exercises using no weight at all. And because during this time I had all of my nutrition dialed in, I was eating right, I was recovering right, I was getting relaxation and meditation in at the same time and yoga, what happened is I ended up with the best body I'd ever had. I mean the best I'd ever had. 117 pounds, lean, 23 inch waist, it was absolutely fantastic. And literally I was training in such a way that there was no pain involved at all. So over time, I've done more research on how is it that this totally pain-free method of exercise got me such good results? Why would that be when everybody is telling you to work harder and get one more rep and do that hard rep and go to failure? Why in the world would a pain-free technique work so well? And I believe that there is a hormonal answer to this question, and I think it has to do with cortisol. And I believe that pain, training with chronic pain, it is very likely that it increases our cortisol level. If you train with chronic pain, cortisol goes up and it tends to, when you've got too much cortisol flowing in the bloodstream, it causes you to break down muscle in the extremities and store it as fat around the middle. And I will continue to do more research and show you the research and studies that show that. So. What I did was I eliminated pain from my training and I released fat and got the best body I ever had. So what I want to encourage you to do, and I try to encourage this with my students here in Gordon Studio, is please, please, please don't work so hard. So many people, and I see it, 
they really believe that pain is the answer, that pushing themselves is the answer, that pushing beyond perfect form is the answer, please don't do it. Effort, technique, form, and focus aren't pain. And if you feel acute pain, of course you need to stop and find a different exercise or figure out what's wrong with your technique. And if you feel chronic pain in the area, you have to stop and you have to seek help to find out what's going on. And one of the biggest challenges for a personal trainer, a certified personal trainer like me, is explaining the fact that I am not a physical therapist. And it may be that if you have chronic pain, that physical therapy is the answer. Go in, work with a specialist, get it fixed, and then come back. Train hard with intensity and effort and focus, but without pain. So that's my lecture for today. Thank you for bearing with me and sharing with me. I'm Katherine Gordon here at Gordon Studio. Bye-bye.